Hey, welcome back to the channel. So if you use Linux and you do any kind of video editing, at some point you're going to be trying Kden Live. And some point in that usage, you're going to want to take audio or video effects and apply them to multiple clips on your timeline. Now, programs on other platforms let you do this pretty easily. For instance, in Adobe Premiere, there's an adjustment layer that you can stretch out as long as you want and apply audio and video effects to that, and it impacts all the clips associated with that adjustment layer. Now, in Kden Live, there's actually something very similar to that that I just found out about a little while ago. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply audio or video effects to multiple clips on your timeline in Kden Live. So let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so here we are in Kden Live, and this is the project that I want to modify. Now, this project is comprised of clips from two different sources. This clip at the beginning and the clip all the way at the end here are both from my camera, and the audio was captured with a lavalier mic hooked right up to the camera to capture the audio. Now, the other clips in between are doing screen capture like I'm doing now, and the audio is captured using a blue snowball mic hooked directly to the computer. And when I brought this in, the volume on the screen captured stuff was a little bit lower level than the volume that was captured with the camera and the lavalier mic. So I wanna bring up that volume, and I can do that by going into gain and dragging this gain effect down to each and every clip and adjusting it that way. But I don't want to do that because that's a big giant pain in the butt. <laughs> and if you are used to other video editing applications like Adobe Premiere, or if you have a plugin for Final Cut Pro, those have adjustment layers that you can drag across the clips that you want to affect, apply all the effects to that adjustment layer, and it applies that to all the clips that are associated with that adjustment layer. Now, Caden Live doesn't have adjustment layers, but it does have something that functions very similarly. In Caden Live, you can apply any audio or video effects to the head of the track here, and then that will affect all the clips that are on that track. Now, obviously, I want to do that for the screen capture stuff, but I don't want to do that for the camera capture. So all I need to do is just go here, bring that clip up, bring this clip up to another layer and then let me just show you play through here a little bit and you can kind of see where the levels at so it's uh you know right around negative five it peaks up to negative two for a little bit so i want to bring that up so all i need to do is drag this gain not to an individual clip but down to this track head boost that up let's i'm just going to do it like 200 percent just to show you the effect here and now if we go and pay, play this clip now you can see how much higher it is. And we can go to any clip along this timeline. And it's the same deal. It applied to everything that's on this timeline. So if there's anything that you don't want affected, you got to make sure you move it off that line. But otherwise, anything that you apply to here, I could go and apply a, you know, a blur effect or whatever else I want to that track head. And it'll apply to all the clips along the timeline. And it's a really, really effective means for getting that uh, effect out to multiple clips. All right, so that's all there is to it. Now, it's not exactly as flexible as an adjustment layer, but it basically gives you the same effect. And it's super easy to set up as long as you have your project structured appropriately. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to let you uh, get notified when I put out another one of these videos. And come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people and chatting with them on there. And I will see you in the next video.